this uh, uh, meeting about podcasts. Uh, let me to introduce you to a few rules at the beginning of the meeting, so you will know everything how it will go. And today our meeting will be about podcasting and we will learn how to use the new tool and opportunity to uh, be a young journalist. And at the beginning, I would like to ask you all to keep yourself muted. So you don't disturb others and uh, we are able to hear uh, our speakers and presenters. And if you have any questions, you can write them on chat. We will come back after the presentation from Paula uh, Cordero, our speaker today. And uh, you can also keep your question for, uh, the, for, uh, for the end of the presentation from her. And after that, we can have a discussion and you can raise all questions. You can, um, yeah, we can, uh, we can discuss different opportunities. Uh, also, if you wish to have a diploma, please write to me or to Florian Marie on a private chat with uh, your email address. So after this webinar, we will send you a diploma. Uh, this uh, uh, meeting is also re uh, record, will be recorded and the recordings will be uploaded on our website after the webinar. So uh, for everyone uh, who are not able to participate today, it will be available to watch the webinar uh, later on. So uh, I will stop sharing my screen and thank you so much for that. As I said, please keep yourself muted and don't disturb others. And I will give the uh, floor to Paula uh, to uh, present about podcasting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello to you all. Thank you so much for uh, being here today. Um, are you hearing me well? Should I talk louder or is it okay like this? Okay, so I will keep um, talking. So podcasting is currently my main um, passion. I'm a radio person with um, a very strong background in, in radio and also in music and radio. And so when, when I was asked to um, develop my work around podcasting, I was like, okay, cool. It's another way to do radio. It's a different way to approach uh, the radio scene. And it has been growing and growing for the last couple of, uh, of years. Currently, podcasting is kind of a hype thing to be doing. It's sort of uh, like the blogging for, from a couple of years ago. People were like, oh, I have a blog. It's super cool. Now people say, I have a podcast. And it's also super, super cool. So why podcast, first of all? I think that we should all take advantage of the hype around podcasting and 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 create um wonderful podcasts because for me podcasting radio are the best way to tell a story because it's intentional first of all people choose to listen to us it's not like they find us uh, randomly on google because if you think carefully google on google you can't search for audio you just can search for text images and videos so when people choose to listen to a podcast they know what they are choosing and they are doing it with an intention and the same goes for radio but we're, we're here to talk about podcasting so first of all podcasting is something people really want to be listening to and we should take advantage of that creating interesting relevant and wonderful podcasts because the world of sound is a super rich world and in that world, we can create and recreate strong images in people's heads. And those images can also tell a story. So keeping it up. Besides that, why podcasting? Podcasting is super, super narrow. You can go to a very specific topic and tell a story about that specific topic. And in that way, you can approach niche audiences that in other ways, it's super difficult to get into them. The same goes for blogging. Blogging can also be a super niche um, content, but we're here to talk about podcasting. Um, besides this, 
again, why podcasting? Podcasting can be super cheap to produce. You only need, well, you need a lot of material, but actually you just need a smartphone. And you can talk to your dictaphone on your smartphone and create a podcast. It's as easy as that. But there are other ways to improve what we, do, what we call a podcast. A podcast, starting uh, with the name, comes from broadcasting. So you can, you can think of the podcasting as a different way to broadcast content to very specific people who listen to you with an intention and in a specific way, meaning that you can create that very, very specific and narrow content. Um, besides all this, again, why podcasting? Not only it's easy and cheap to produce, but also it's a beautiful way to tell a story. Listen, when we, when we think about telling a story to a friend, what do you think about? You think about a conversation. You think about a way to talk to your friend. You think about a way to create something to your friend that he will want to listen until the end. That's telling a story. So the way we talk to friends can be the same way we create a podcast, just using our ideas, using our speech, and using our intention on our speech to approach the audience. And how can we do that? Well, first of all, we have to think about the story we want to tell. Let me start, stop here because I will come back to the how to do a podcast. And let me tell you a little bit about storytelling, about the powerful digital storytelling that we can create through a podcast. Because currently a podcast is not only the audio content. A podcast is a narrative that starts with the audio and ends with the video, meaning that you have to create the audio content of the podcast and then find a way to promote that content on social media and on digital platforms, meaning that you have to add text, images, and perhaps video to the audio content that you, all, you have already produced. So how can we start? Uh, first of all, you have to have an idea. You have to have something that might or might not be creative, but it's something that you want to talk about. It's something that you want to tell to the world. It's something that it's meaningful to you and be, being meaningful to you means that, that it's meaningful to somebody else as well. And when you have the idea, you have to find a way to bring that idea to the world. And that's how a podcast starts. It all starts with having an idea and having the will to put that idea out to the world. And so what I can advise you is to pay attention to everything every day. Have a notebook or have notes on your um, smartphone. It works either way and start capturing ideas. Take notes, take sentences, take pictures, write something about the picture. Um, and then if you find something that it's really meaningful to you and that you want to, I don't know, maybe challenge yourself to tell a story, try and to research about that topic and see what has already been approached, developed, wrote, podcast, video cast about that topic. So it all starts with, with the idea and the notes that you take about that same idea that you already have. Continuing, 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 oh, sorry, I can't say the word. <laughs> continuing with, with researching about your own idea. That research will make your podcast more rich than just based on your ideas and opinions. Opinions, everybody have. Everybody have has an opinion about something, right? But not everybody has information about that opinion. And so if you gather information about the idea that you
about the you want to approach, you will be well informed about it and able to tell a better story. Then um, you can, it says here that my internet uh, is unstable. Are you still following me? Yes, there was a small break in uh, your uh, speech, but I think you are back now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit frozen now. Um, I think it's, uh, are you back? I did. Paula? I think we are exactly at the same place. And yeah, here I am. Okay. Now Hello? I think, yeah, I think it's, um, it's getting back. Yes, I think you are back. But yes, it looks, it shows that your internet is a bit unstable. I'm sorry, I don't have that. I have all everything working here. I don't know what might have happened. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Wi-Fi looking, yeah, it's on. It's yeah, not I even looking for net. So maybe you can continue and let's hope it will work. Okay, so when you gather all the research and the information, you can start script writing your, um, your podcast. And then when you start script writing, you start acknowledging that you might use different people to com combine with the information that you already have, different ideas, different sounds. And so you can schedule interviews like Skype calls or using other, other kinds of applications to record the audio. You can start live streaming like we are doing and record that live streaming. You can use calls or even voicemail. For instance, one thing that I do very often is that I ask people to participate on, on my podcasts. And instead of interviewing them, I ask for a statement. And they use something as simple as a WhatsApp message that then I edit and make the proper equalization and bring that audio into my uh, uh, podcast episode. You can also on that research, it's not researching for um, data and information and, and heavy stuff. You can also start searching for music that can inspire you for the podcast promotion uh, production and sound effects. There are a lot of sound effects for free currently on the web. There are, um, sound effects uh, databases and websites that allow you to download for free and you can also have them you can also find them on youtube as well and then you can start editing and, and creating for real your um, your podcast but back to the how how to do all this first of all the idea then the research then the composition of that idea and the research you did. Then you start creating your own script. The script doesn't have to be a very tight script, like something that you cannot get away from. It's just having your ideas on a piece of paper that allow you to don't get away from the topic that you are actually approaching and the general idea that you had about the podcast episode and then we're going to the practical issue of this how can i do it first of all when you are producing a, a podcast you are actually telling a story so to tell a story you have to talk like you are talking to a friend it's like you're explaining that story to a friend you are approaching an idea and discussing that idea to your friend. Bearing this in mind, you have to, first of all, keep it simple. Write to talk. You can write your ideas, but you have to write them in a way that it doesn't sound like you are reading. So write to be able to talk and write to be heard. Meaning that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that the way you are writing your uh, script 
doesn't look exactly as the grammar should be. It has to be able for you to read it, meaning that you have to add some spaces to read, and you have to write in a way that people actually want to listen to you. You can't sound like a machine. You can't sound like you're reading uh, a newspaper or reading, reading a novel. It has to sound like you are talking to someone else. Think about a friend that might want to listen to your podcast and write for that friend. One other advice is you have to tell people what they want to listen in a way to say what they need to know and considering what you want to say. What this means is that what we have to say, usually it's very different from what people want to listen. No one wants to listen to the end of the world. No one wants to listen to someone else saying that the way we live has to change. So you have to find a way to tell this to people in a way that they want to listen to you and in a way that they will get that information and do something with that information. The trick is to find examples and the trick is to bring people into the situation, into the context that you are describing. Something like, imagine that you want to take a bath and that there is no water. That immediately brings people into the context because they start imagining that they are in the bathroom, that they are getting into the shower and that there's no water for, for taking a shower. Or you can use another kind of metaphor, another kind of comparison, like imagine your dog is sick and you have to get him into the vet and your car doesn't start. So bring these topics that make people like, whoa, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. And people will pay attention to you. Another secret is that every idea is a sentence. Don't use three or four sentences to explain one idea. It's boring and people start like paying attention to something else. Uh, the, meaning this, that you have to use very short and very simple ideas to spread the message. Is anyone willing to ask something? No, okay. So besides this, you can also use uh, other voices, include your interviews, include statements, include contributions from other people to help creating your podcast and help creating the, the story you want to tell and the message that you want to spread. So create that context and bring people into it. Um, you can also find podcasts you like to listen to and get which is totally different. See what other people are doing and use that can, information. Can you repeat? That, because we, we lost you a little bit. Can you come back? Okay, okay. So I was saying that you, you should get inspiration from podcasts you like to listen to and other podcasts people are, are listening as well. I'm not saying to copy those podcasts. I'm just saying to find stuff on those podcasts that you love and try to bring that into your own podcast in your own way, using your own style. Um, sound effects, songs, and the sound ambience. This is very important because when you have a podcast with someone talking for, I don't know, maybe 10 straight minutes, with yeah we are losing you again sound effect 
I'm, I don't know. My internet, it's, it's stable. I, I don't know what might be happening, honestly. Let me try and, and, and move away from here. Let me try and do something. Oops, sorry. Maybe it's because I'm in the corner. Maybe this way will be better. Okay. Um, yes. Am I back? Yes, you are. Yes. You are. Okay. So I was. Não, não é uh, parede, não está a limitar o, o router, porque o router está do outro lado. <risos> não está, não, o problema não é parede, não sei. Honestamente, não sei. Ok, so back, um, back to what I was saying. Um, I was talking about inspiration and having, um, and the sound effects and, um, and the a uh, sound ambience. Meaning that you can use everything that you can to improve not only the sound quality, but also... Boa tarde. Yes? But also to improve the listening experience. Because everything around a podcast is not about you, it's about your audience. It's all about the listening experience. Never forget that people are willing to listen to you. They don't cross you like they cross a, a blog post or like they cross a, an Instagram post. They try to find you and when they find you, they want to listen to you. So consider everything, uh, consider that everything is about the listening experience of someone who chose to listen to you and make that the best experience you can using your words, using your voice the best way you can, reading well, speaking clearly, and using music, sound effects, and the sound ambience. For instance, if you are recording something that has to do with the sea, try and go to a beach and record the sound of the waves or use a sound effect. But bring people to the place or to the location that you are approaching on your podcast and create that sound experience, it makes it better and makes it easier for people to follow your ideas. Um, okay, I could stay here and talk for ages about podcasting and, and sound and, and everything, but I think that we would all benefit from having um, doubts and questions uh, Kosia, can they uh, send questions or anything or yes, ask me? If it's allowed to send the questions on chat, uh, we can also have a discussion. So if someone would like to raise a question, uh, please, you are welcome to do it. And we can have a, a like chat interview with you. Also, um, I have already a question. I would like to ask you, like you have an idea, you have a topic that you want to do. How do you want to, how do you go to publish it? Do you need to register yourself, have a profile, where to do it and how to do it from a technical point of view? And also, do you have maybe some example to show us or something that you can share, maybe also even through share screen or show your podcast page and something like that? Yeah, I can, I can show you everything, but you will only see what has already been done. You won't yeah. be able to, from what's been done, you don't know how it's done. But basically, you have to have a server where you can host your audio. Mm -hmm. Meaning that iTunes or Spotify, they are not hosting the audio, they are hosting the RSS feed of your audio. What this means is that you have to go to a place like SoundCloud, Spreaker, or any other service that allows you to host your sound. And from there, you create an account, you upload your um, MP3, your audio, and then you create your profile like you create it on YouTube or any other uh, social networking site. And then that generates, um, that generates an RSS feed. With that RSS feed, you submit your podcast to iTunes. But first of all, you have to create um, 
an account on iTunes. For people who, who own a, a, a Mac or an iPhone, it's easier because you already have that account to be able to operate the, the iPhone or to operate your Mac. For those who don't, you have to create that account using an email, creating a password, creating a username, the same for every kind of service, every other kind of service. And then you submit the, R uh, the RSS feed, it's a link that you submit to iTunes. And then iTunes analyzes that, that feed. And if it works, and if, if they consider that your content is good, they will allow you to have your profile on iTunes. And the same goes for Spotify. This is not rocket science. Uh, this is just, people think that this is the, the most difficult part of everything, but it's not. The most difficult part is to have a very interesting podcast. Um, use Anchor for submit your podcast, says Paulo Cardoso. Yes, makes it easier, but it doesn't make automatic for um, SoundCloud or doesn't make it automatic for iTunes. You have to create it on iTunes as well, but it makes it easier for uh, publish, publishing it on several platforms. Uh, what's the medium length for a podcast? I know that there are one, one, one hour and 30 minute interviews, but the majority is around. Uh, there's no... Well, the secrets to having a good voice. I will go to that as well. There are no lengths for a podcast. It all depends on the content and the way you are approaching that content. Um, cool. If, if someone tells you that oh, you should have an half an hour podcast or you should have a five minute podcast. It's a lie because it all depends on the content and the audio experience that you can, and you can create. But there's a trick to know if your content is good. Actually, two tricks. First of all, if you already have an audience, you have to know your audience habits. Meaning that if you are approaching an audience with commuting habits, well, Let's skip it for now because no one is commuting, but considering the regular life, uh, if your audience commutes, then you know that they will have at least half an hour to listen to you because they will go back and forwards every day. If your audience doesn't commute, if they are kids staying at home, like studying or whatsoever, maybe you should try and find which t uh, Netflix series they are following and the length of each episode. There is, way, there is a way to see um, how your audience behaves considering other media. It all depends on the people that you are trying to approach. It doesn't depend on you, it depends on the people that you are trying to approach. And it can be either five minutes or 50 minutes. It depends. There is no, no absolute, um number of minutes for a podcast depends on the content and depends on the audience for instance for me it's very difficult to listen to one hour episode because i have no time for that uh, but half an hour 45 minutes i'm okay with it if it's one hour episode there's probably 15 minutes of that episode that i will not be listening to because there's no not enough time on my commuting commuting for that um, where do you source your free sound effects and ambience? Ambience, I sourced it from the ambience as it itself, like recording at the beach, recording the birds, recording the sounds of the cars passing by. Uh, the sound effects, if you search for free sound effects on Google, you'll find a lot of sources, a lot of websites that allow you to download or even on YouTube. Do you have some good podcasts about climate change? Not specifically a good podcast on climate change, but there are several episodes of podcasts that I listen to that have been also approaching the topic of climate change. But I can search for some podcasts on climate change and send it back to you. Can we find you as Urbanista 2.0? Yes, you can. It's my new podcast. Please subscribe if you can. It's in Portuguese. I'm sorry. Yes, in iTunes, we have to create one profile. True. 
um, the secrets to having a good voice. Ah, this is another um, urban myth. There's no such thing as a good voice. Of course, that this is very hard to follow for 15 minutes, right? But no one actually talks like that. And it all comes back to rooting with your breathing. It all comes back to being comfortable about yourself. Remember, no one is watching you. No one knows the kind of faces, the kind of expressions you do when you are recording your podcast. Meaning that you can do whatever you want with your hands. You can do whatever you want with your face to help you tell what you have to say. So the first thing you have to considering, consider um, about your voice is that you have to find a way to learn how to breathe. There's the only secret. The only secret about having a good voice is breathing because I can show you I'm going to talk for a couple of seconds without a proper breathing and my voice will change okay so talking about the climate change and talking about podcasts about the climate change I'm already exhausted my voice was coming from here I was not breathing and I will say more or less exactly the same uh, with my voice coming from back here so I'm going to Fill my lungs with air and now I'm going to talk about podcasts on climate change. First of all, the voice is lower, meaning that it's more comfortable for you to listen to and I can talk for longer without having the need to breathe in again. And I have to be able to breathe in in the pauses, meaning that when you are editing the sound, this moment of <gasps> can be cut or the sound can be reduced so it doesn't sound like <gasps> here I am talking about something on my new <gasps> podcast. No, you have you, you can't cut this this <gasps> because you have to breathe, of course. Um, and you have to find a way to make it more natural, or when if it doesn't sound natural, when you are editing the podcast, you just make that piece of sound like a silence or sounding lower than when you are talking. Uh, what are you doing uh, currently at this moment? I'm trying to do a webinar on podcasting. I don't know if this was, I don't know, um, suggest us some good podcasts to look at. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of incredible podcasts. There's this podcast that I really love with an amazing approach to sound effects. It's called The Heart. Yes, The Heart, like this. Um, and it's a podcast uh, about stuff around feelings and relationships and everything you can imagine. And, and, and they work really, really well in terms of uh, the sound effects and creating the ambience and the environment and, and, and everything around it. Then there's this podcast with not an amazing uh, sound quality, but still very interesting, which is the Happiness Lab. You have also The Minimalists, which is an amazing podcast. You have Goop from Wilmot Patro, uh, which is also very, very good. Um, I don't know, just, there are so many podcasts out there. Um, how, some good, but yes, try to search to help me with understand how podcast works. Didn't get the question. Um, what equipment, equipment can a beginner use to record voices during the conversations? Use your own smartphone, it works. Just be in a comfortable environment with no echo and um, no um, background noises. Uh, choose a room so that you can record, uh, preferably with uh, a lot of uh, fabrics. 
fabrics like uh, sofas and like the pillows help you reduce the background noises but don't use it like too much like don't surround yourself with pillows because because that will make the sound sound like this which is just strange okay um recording can i record from a simple cell phone yeah that's what i do i use this um microphone you see here this is a microphone for video recording i added this which is a dead kitten to help produce the background noises and the wind and the wind that we produce when we are talking and this is a unidirectional meaning that you have to talk like this to here with this distance more or less so you have to talk in this direction so that it captures your voice through here you can be talking like this of course you can but then there's a lot of noises around that won't help you have a good quality so you place it like this and you start talking that's that's it or if you don't have a mic you have your iphone or your smartphone either way you just do this more or less you place your hand stable and you start talking and it will record through here it's not perfect no it's not but who said it had to be perfect i didn't i said it had to be interesting and create a relevant sound experience for the listener there are some very successful podcasts with crappy sound uh, conditions but they are still very good um stuff you should know mm -hmm. we can follow the maybe any, any no i'm sorry i don't know websites to refer um what is the main benefit of a podcast versus a video <laughs> Oh, I love this question. I really do. I can show you something. This. You are allowing people to get into your head. And on a video, that usually doesn't happen. Listen, you are surrounded by videos. Every kind of content comes out on a video. You can find videos on Instagram, you can find videos on YouTube, you can find videos on Facebook, you have Snapchat, you have TikTok, you have so many videos. And yet, you have a lot of podcasts as well. But you don't stumble yourself on a podcast. You choose to listen to a podcast and you allow that person to talk on your ears. And when you tell someone a secret, what's your human... Um, behavior you approach someone and you talk on the people's here right and when you create a podcast you are talking to someone through their ears which is much more intimate than a video can be this is everything i have to say about the benefits of a podcast versus a video it's like the benefits of a newsletter uh, over social media when you have a, a newsletter you you really have a group of people that wanted to have you on your on their email inbox on social media you just cross people around you choose to follow you choose to like of course you do but when you choose to have a content on your inbox it's totally different than following someone on social media where do we buy this microphone, uh, Paulo? Uh, okay, so you're in Portugal. Uh, you can buy, there are a lot of places. Um, there are a lot of stores. I buy my stuff in, in Lisbon. Um, uh, text me or um, send me a message on social media, Paulo, or an email, and I will advise you as you are in Portugal, okay? Where, you know, this kind of microphone looks cute. Albert. 
a microphone is not supposed to be cute. Please don't buy those cutie mix that you see on the web and on Amazon. You have to find a mic that is proper to serve your needs. Actually, mine is really cute because it has a dead kitten. Every mic with a dead kitten is a cute mic. So don't go for the cuteness. Go for the fact that it's unidirectional and a dynamic microphone, okay? Very cute. Uh -huh. And versus YouTubers? Yes, that was from me. You were oh. telling that uh, like uh, the difference between video and podcast. And I'm asking, um, how do you highlight this? We have also like uh, YouTubers that people are following on uh, different channels. And uh, how do you find podcasts maybe being better or getting easier to people? What, what is for you in this? Well, I think that there, there's uh, room for everyone, room for podcasters, room for YouTubers, room for Instagrammers. Uh, Instagrammers on climate change and Instagrammers on buying stuff you don't need. I think that there is room for everyone. My preference is for sound, but I do respect a lot people working with video because video is very hard working as well as sound. People think that creating a podcast is super easy. It doesn't, it's not hard work, but in my case, some of my episodes take around four to five hours just to edit without the production, without the research, without the recording. So it's, it's not very easy to do a, a podcast with sound effects, with music, with voice, but it's as well a very, very cheap and super easy tool to create instant content. Like it's, you just have to record it, place a song in, in the beginning and in the end, or maybe a soundtrack, underneath your voice and it's done. It can be done like that. It doesn't have to be like an aesthetic experience all the way. Sometimes you just have to put your contact, uh, your um, concept out there and hope for the best. Podcast about COVID, yes or no? <sighs> Honestly, it's a big no for me, but still. Uh, it's it's um, a huge trend at this moment and uh, iTunes it's, is gathering podcasts about this topic so it could be a, an opportunity. How do you normally promote your podcast when your new episode is releasing? Oh god this is the toughest question. What I do is I release the episode and then I go to social media telling everyone that I just released an episode. And then I use my newsletter and then I text my friends and then I ask people to listen. Don't be ashamed to ask people to listen and share. That's the only way to get out of the big hole iTunes and Spotify places new podcasts. Um, what do you use to produce and edit the podcast? Free software, Audacity. It's it's free and it works. Vodka, uh, um, uh, what do you use to produce and edit the podcast? To produce, I use Audacity. Um, well, to produce depends. If I'm talking about audio, I use Audacity for everything. And uh, to make the edits, I use Audacity as well. Do you have sponsors in your podcast? No. <laughs> if yes, how do you approach them? How do you select them? Francesca, I don't have them and I don't want them, but this is my approach. But I used to have. What did I do? A couple of, two years ago, I wanted to create a podcast on yoga. I wanted to spread my love for yoga and I wanted to spread information about yoga. And I also needed um, a yoga mat. So I approached several brands and my, um, my proposal was uh, give me three of your um, yoga mats and I will make a podcast series on yoga talking about your brand as well. 
So it was like product placement, brand and content. And the brand that accepted was so nice that they gave me a travel yoga mat and a yoga mat plus another yoga mat for um, a giveaway on Instagram. And so what they asked me was, just do your job, just do your scene, just do whatever you want and place our name in the beginning or at the end of the podcast. And so the podcast was blah, 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 yoga, blah, 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 yoga, love for yoga, yoga, yoga. And this podcast was brought to you by Lee Forum. Thank you so much. This was it. So it depends a lot. I've approached other brands um, and usually if you ask for product it's okay if you ask for money it's much more difficult and in my case this is a very very small market podcasting is just coming out of the blue suddenly uh but if you are in a market like australia or in the united states or even in brazil there are already agencies working with podcasters so it all depends on the place location you are um, in how do you select them well i think that they have to be the, the if you have a sponsor it has to be at least a little bit related to what you are doing for instance if you do something on climate change and you have an oil company sponsoring your podcast it might sound weird right what's the best type of music for background um music that doesn't get into your content and music that it's not annoying meaning that when you are talking for let's say five minutes and you have constantly on background something like tunks, 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 it might get into you it might get boring so you have to have a sound that creates this environment for your voice and what you are talking about but at the same time it doesn't bother you and you are the one to recognize if it's boring or not when you listen when you are editing your podcast and it's 10 minute podcast for instance and on minute three you start like ah this music is bothering me so it's the wrong song you have to find another one or put it a little bit less louder are you also gathering your friends inputs after you ask them to listen to how your audience feedback affects for example your content designing well, I'm a very lucky person. Um, very lucky person. Uh, I only have bad feedback on technical issues from my friends who work in sound design, meaning that they are so, so professional on the topic that I look at them and it's like, really? Do you really think that people will notice that? Um, how does your audience feedback affect, for example, your content designing? Well, I ask for feedback in advance, like which topic should I approach? So it doesn't. Suggest an app for podcasts, for podcast listening? It depends if you are on... Um, EOS, you already have the app that comes with the iPhone. If you are on uh, Android, you have the Google Podcast app. Uh, you have Spotify. You have CastBox. You have SoundCloud. You have Spreaker. You have Anchor. Just search on Google and see what suits you best. There are a lot of, uh, of apps to listen to podcasts and to upload your own podcast. Peapod, I think it would be an ideal app. Yes, I know, but a change for the younger. A change for the younger generation, meaning a different app? I don't know if I understood or if I know how to answer that. A change for the younger generation. A different app for podcast listening or a different app for uploading your own podcast? 
Anchor is getting really, really big and really, really popular. I don't like it that much. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, are there other questions from audience? We can also share uh, like a few questions with participants to have some interaction through Mentimeter and uh, have some time yet for some other questions yet. All right, so maybe I will uh, share, thank you for uh, Paula, and we can share Mentimeter and maybe we can have some comments yet uh, after that. Sure, and um, I will leave my email here and my... Yes, and maybe also link to your uh, podcast uh, page or Instagram, I know that uh, you are there, so people can follow you and see some of your stories. Thank you. Uh, my podcast is here. And uh, follow as well. I will just share another link, which is a totally different podcast that I produce. And I think that you should listen to it because it's very different from what I usually do. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. You can share this and uh, I will just ask participants meantime to go to uh, with your phone or a computer that you have around to go to www.menti.com and if you can use code 870137 and uh, we have some questions so you can also play with us here and uh, if you are there, you can just read the heart there so we can see how many people are there. So, And also, if you still have some questions about podcast, you can still write them on chat or also you can send us to them uh, by email. We will collect them and if there will be anything, we can ask Paula after that uh, to respond on that as well. And if you don't have access to your Mentimeter, you can also write to us on chat. So it also can go there. And thank you. And I will switch to maybe another question. Uh, if you were uh, going to create a podcast, which topic would you choose? <laughs> so maybe you got inspired with the stories and uh, things how podcasts work. And maybe now you can think what you can talk about on podcast. Yeah, funny stories as well. <laughs> That's great to hear that there are some climate actions and recycling and different like environmental topics as well. That could be really interesting also some for us to, to share those stories. Can I say something? Yes. People are really into podcasts that uh, help them understand the world and teach them something. So if you can teach people something about climate change, about recycling, about uh, producing less garbage, just go ahead, go ahead. There's a lot of information out there. Out there, You just have to gather that information and, and create a podcast about it. Fantastic, thank you anxiety, so much. Anxiety, anxiety is a very good topic. Um, sustainability, yeah. And the climate change, different views. Sustainability and isolation. That could be interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah, noise pollution. Fantastic. And um, what uh, from this uh, webinar, what is the most important uh, to think about when you are creating a new podcast? Sorry. 
It's all about storytelling. <laughs> One thing that I forgot to say, if you don't have an audience yet, think of the audience that you want to have and go after that kind of people. Because of course, when we start, we don't have an audience. And so I have, I have a very small audience for my topic on my Instagram, for instance, but they are very, very loyal and they go back to my content on a daily basis meaning that i have a lot of people on my instagram that just don't care about what i'm talking about right now but they're still there it's just a number so forget about the numbers and go and build your own community community people that actually want to interact with you on social media and and follow you on your podcast That's also important, be interesting and original. So also like uh, Paula was telling, tell your story like you are telling it to your friend. So they want to listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my next, please follow, this is, this is sound lousy to say, but please follow my, my podcast on iTunes or Spotify because the next episode will be exactly what it's supposed to be. The first two episodes of my new podcast are just bullshit. It was just like, hey, I'm here again, I'm back. But this third episode that I'm actually working on, this will be straight to the point, And this will be an example of everything that I've been saying on this webinar. That will be fantastic. Thank to be creative. Thank you. Unique. True. Yeah, I think planning is also. Yeah, it's also important. Yes. Because if you plan, you create a kind of a timeline of what you want to do. And then that enables you to start focusing more on what, on the topics that you are approaching. And then suddenly it looks like the world is around you and everything makes sense. And you are just looking to the left and to the right. And, and everything is about your podcast and your topic when you are focused. So the planning is very, very important. Yes, yes. And also, like I saw, uh, not attractive and create, creative and be yourself, be fun. I think be yourself as well. It's, it's very yeah. important. And um, yeah, curious. Yeah, it's also like you have to invest the topics that are interesting for you. So you will find you will be curious on uh, telling about them as well and sharing this what you learn about that. Yeah. And uh, we have the last question: Did you find this webinar useful? Because that's something that we also want to explore: how many new podcast people we will have. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much. It seems that uh, you enjoyed it and uh, it was interesting and we are very happy about that. And you still can submit your uh, information here. Also, um, I would like to say a huge, huge thank you to our uh, guest speaker today, to Paula. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> it was really a pleasure to have you here and uh, hearing the story about podcast. And you did an amazing job also without any presentation, keeping us involved and uh, in listening to you and how you are telling about podcast and how 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 it can work, uh, what you can create, what is the benefit of um, using podcast. 
So thank you, thank you so much for that. Amazing compliments on, 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 on the chat. Thank you very much, everyone. Katerina, obrigada. <laughs> thank you. Oh my God, I'm blushing. Uh, but truthfully, if you want to connect through social media or email, just feel free to do it. No problem. I love to help people starting their own podcast, okay? If you have need or if you need information about microphone, microphone or something, just reach out. I'm able to help, okay? I also have this ebook that I can send to you. I can send you my ebook, but it's it's in Portuguese. You can only send them to send it to Portuguese speakers. It's an ebook on on podcasting and I will be doing uh, a free webinar in Portuguese as well. Maybe next week. Uh, so the Portuguese crowd around there, just subscribe my newsletter. Just go to my website and subscribe my, my newsletter so that you can get the free link to this uh, Portuguese webinar, okay? Thank you. Sorry for the promotion. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. And also, like, I hope maybe our students from Brazil and other countries can yeah. join those who understand and are able to, to do it in Portugal. Can I say something just before goodbye? Yes. Thank you, thank you very much, Paula, for this. We didn't know each other, but now we know. <laughs> and, oh, Margarita, thank yes, you. <laughs> yes, we'll keep in contact for sure. Okay, yes. for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to say also and invite everyone on the webinar on next Monday. It will be about young influencers, YouTubers, and it's, uh, there will be like three speakers. Two of them from Bosnia and Herzegovina that are called hooligans from gymnasium. And one uh, YouTuber from Canada, Christine Rodrigo, who's our YRE alumni from our program. And they will be telling story how to be YouTubers and influencers, telling story how to get involved with uh, people and uh, be visible and also how to tell story about uh, environmental issues. Okay. So... Thank you so much. Thank you for today. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. Have a great Thank day. You. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.